Boom. What's up, my boys, and welcome to episode number six in our Building Buyer Leverkusen One Season Wonder Career Mode in Football Manager 19. Now, like I start these uh, epis off every time, if you guys do want to join me in playing Football Manager 19, the link can be found in the description below. Also, want to thank Football Manager for sponsoring this seven part mini series, uh, and it's just been an absolute blast. Somehow, we've been unbeaten in the eight in our eight last Bundesliga matches. We got knocked out of the European competition. We went down fighting. We put we put on a 4-0 clinic versus Midtjylland, uh, but uh, we are on an 8-game eight, uh, eight unbeaten streak in the Bundesliga, and we're going to be hope to make some signings, maybe some transfer signings in this epi right here. Now, if you guys have been enjoying the series, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, but it's been a while since we just really acknowledged the fact that Football Manager has gone above and beyond in terms of creating just an incredible manager to look at. I mean, look at me. I'm an absolute beast. I've got the legs of a gazelle human person. Uh, I've got the I've got the cleats. I've got the boots. We are going to dive right into it, boys. Like I said, we went from 5th to 6th with that draw versus Eintracht. Uh, we've got a very nice set of performances. As you guys can see here, we are currently... We haven't taken an L since all the way back. When did we last take an L? We haven't taken an L since we got beat uh, all the way back then a few months ago. Literally three months uh, we took that 1-0. That wasn't even that bad of a loss. A 1-0 a one -nil loss to Dortmund. And since then, we have been on absolute fire. Now, we've got Schalke coming up. That's going to be tough. We've got Hertha coming up. And then we've got um, we've got the rematch with Borussia Mönchengladbach, uh, who we got popped by early in the season, 2-0. Uh, so we're going to hope to be able to reverse our fortune there. But let's go take a look at the tactics as of right now. This is how the squad is looking. We can bring back in... Um, Arangis, we're gonna bring in place of, uh, we're gonna bring in place of our boy, uh, uh, Baumgartlinger, who did get us a goal, uh, mind you, he did get us a goal. We're gonna take out Retzos, and then, let's see, where is our guy, uh, pa -pa -pa Lars, Danilo Suarez is gonna come back in, Dragovic is gonna come out, and then Retzos is going to slot back in as our left center back, and then Yedbov right there, but we do want, um, where is he? Where's Viser? Mitch Visser, 80, uh, 98 and 95 percent match sharpness. So we got it. We're uh, we're good there. Uh, core, I think we we're gonna take off, and then we're gonna bring in um, Tin Yedbob there, just in case we want to bring him on. We've got Havertz, Bailey, Bellarabi, and then Volan playing out of their minds right now. Uh, we are gonna go check our inbox, see what's going on around the uh, see what's going on around the league. We got to respond. We are going to send our assistant to this one right here. Press conference has been called. Um, and then, like I said, boys, we got a massive, massive game coming up for Schalke. They're currently in fourth place. We're cor uh, currently in sixth. They're sitting there with 25 points, and we are here with uh, with 23. We've got Arangiz and Bender playing a little bit more forward than usual. We need a result here. We need a result here, my bros. All right, we're going to go with positive, and then we are going to go with uh, with an encourage uh, with an encourage shout. Let's go, boys. Yes! Karim Stilarabi 1 0, and the boys are on the board. You had help in the middle there. I don't know what that was about. Careful, careful. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Ah, Bergstaller, are you kidding me, dude? Kai Havertz, his match sharpness and match fitness is not great, but you never count out young. You never count out the wonder kid, Kai. We're gonna go down to shouts and we're gonna go to concentrate. Team instructions, tempo. We're gonna go down to higher, and uh, I think we're just gonna keep it at that. Time wasting never, and we're gonna see if that does anything. No, oof! What a save, Heratiki! What an incredible, incredible save there, dude! Massive, massive save. No, don't, don't do it to me. Not like this. Not like this. Okay. Uh, show some passion. Concentrate. All right. Let's concentrate, dude. All right. We go into the half with a 55% possession. Nine shots, four on target. We are going tit for tat with one of the better teams in the Bundesliga right now. Dressing room. Uh, I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. 
I'm very happy with your solid defensive work. Um, I'm very happy with your playmaking. You need to play it calm. Let's go. Uh, you weren't that bad, but I believe you can still. I believe you can still improve. Let's go, man. A pen? Stop. Stop it. Radiki did not just save that. Kevi! Oh my god, 10 minutes left. 10 minutes. I swear if I see that if I see the replay screen pop up one more time, please, for the love of God. For the love of God, we've got five minutes left. I hope this isn't the counter. Please, please let this be a goal. Smart, 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 boys. Hradiki deserves to be team of the season. Hradiki deserves to be in the Bundesliga team of the season right now. Oh, the whistle! A three-point win! A not a three-point, a one-point win for Schalke! 2-1! Wow! Dudes, did we... What is going on right now? We're pulling off wins left, right, and center. We're still unbeaten. Come on! All right, let's take a look at the post-match analysis. We get a 7.0 for Kai Havertz. How Hradiki has only a 7.3. He deserves to be in the Bundesliga Team of the Week. If the Bundesliga Team of the Week comes out and Hradiki isn't the keeper, the game's broken. I'm not going to believe anything that Football Manager tells me, dude. Hertha are currently sitting at 13th. We're at 5th. We're 7-5-3 with 26 points. Um, let's take a look at their team. Who do they have? Who's scoring, uh, who's scoring goals from them? They've got, uh, they've got David Selke, obviously. Uh, assists, he's probably, he's banging in assists as well, as is Vladimir Dirada. Let's go take a look at us. Uh, Bayer, um, pens, hold on, goals. Uh, Kai Havertz has nine goals on the season for us. Has been insane. 32, hey, for 32 shots, he's on a nice little conversion rate right there. But, um... Very nice performance. Charles Aurangiz, to be honest with you, I would expect more goals from uh, Bellarabi and, and Bailey, but, you know, five goals for uh, five goals for the pair of them. After speaking with Julian Baumgartlinger, I believe the player is happy with his playing time right now. I'm very happy that he's with... I'm very happy that he's happy with his playing time. Uh, it seems like that goal maybe... Uh, that, that goal did a little bit for his... Uh, his that, uh, that goal did a little bit for his morale. PSV have dismissed your inquiry about the availability of Gaston Ferrero? Uh, no. I don't think so, dude. All right, you're gonna do that, dude? Well, guess what? Now I'm gonna make an offer. Um, 8.5. We're gonna bump it up to. We're gonna bump it up to nine. Bonus upon avoiding relegation from the Bundesliga. So that's he's gonna get himself a cheeky little bonus there. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make that offer for Gaston Pereiro. What about Lloyd Perrin, dude? We can get him at a discount, and he's he's probably pretty decent. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make Lloyd Perrin, A.K.A. the French Robin Van Persie. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make him an offer for, for 2 mil. We're going to add the bonus uh, competition of not getting uh, relegated. Uh, bonus upon avoiding relegation from the Bundesliga, which should be easy. Uh, 1.3. After league appearances, 5 games. Let's bump that up to maybe 1.5. And then next available, we are going to go ahead and we are going to make that offer. Just for a little bit of depth, boys. But uh, more importantly, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this match versus, uh, versus Hurt to settled in. Wait, there's a guy named Halif Pitbull. Who the hell is that? That's got to be a creative name. That's got to be a creative player because he doesn't even have a player face. You know what? We're going to go attacking, dude. Is best employed for matches where the team are favorites to win and expect to dominate possession. 100%, dude. Come on, attacking. Yo, we need a we need a big moral victory right here. We need a huge, huge moral victory. I, mean, I want I want like a I want a 2-0, 3-0 scoreline right now. Nothing less. Take a little sip of our San Pellegrino. Let's go, Kareem Stellarabi. One nil. Yes. Keep it going, dude. Keep the onslaught. Hey, we're we're not stepping off this pressure the entire match. We're not we're not stepping off the pressure, boys. Uh, encourage. Come on, dude. No, Duda. No, no chance. No chance in hell. Nah, I ain't having it, bro. I ain't having it. Jonathan Ta, dude. He's a world class defender right there. Hey, come on, Schnelli. Yes. Kevin Balland! Yo, we are football manager gods! Atani, step aside. I think I think out of me, Bates, Nep, and Atani, Atani did bits in terms of his management of um, of Lazio. 
But yo, Kevy Volan with the, uh, not even the half volley, the full volley, buries it in the back of the net. 13 minutes in, frustrated by, wait, what are you frustrated by, dude? <laughs> oh, Kevy Volan! The, ever since we made the switch away, and I know this is uh, this is Hertha, but ever since we made the switch, and dude, what a what a beautiful play from Visser to stay in bounds, get the pass off, and then that send from Schnellerabi to Boland. Ever since we switched from Alario, I, I dude, I shudder to think where we would be at if we had stuck with Alario. And there we go, a three-one win, another victory, bros. This is unfreaking real. We're gonna hand over to the assistant. We're going to hand over the assistant. We're going to end the pep talk. I might actually want to take this next press conference because this is unheralded. This is this is unprecedented territory for a Nubin football manager to be doing this right now. Kevin Bolin was the best player in the park this afternoon, uh, getting himself a couple of goals. Gets himself two with a 9.0 9 rating. Buyer 04, maintain unbeaten record. And we are just absolutely slamming it, boys. Check this out. Going all the way back to that Freiburg match, we are just absolutely lighting it up. We took down Schalke. We we, we we drew versus Frankfurt, bro. Hold on, let's go to home. Where are we right now? We're currently at fifth on the table. It just doesn't seem like we can get any higher than that, dude. What's going on here? St. Etienne would like 4.2 in return for Loic Perrin. Subject to the conditions, however, the transfer may eventually increase to 4.3. Oh my God, an extra four, an extra 100,000. We're gonna accept the demands, submit offer for Loic Perrin. Um, accepted. Paris. Uh, Perrin has done well to come back from a seri serious injury and will and will now have his sights on playing regular season soccer again. I'm just letting you know that Sham Shrek doesn't seem himself at the moment. I think he's struggling with being. Who the hell is Sam Shrek? No, dude. I'm gonna ask you to resolve the issue. I've, I I don't dude. I don't even know who you're talking about, dude. I can do that, but I can't make any promises it'll work out. I'll have a word with him and see what I can do. Okay, cheers, boss. I'll see you later. Who is Sam Shrek? Who's who the hell is Sam Shrek? All right, Mitchell Beaster is unhappy with the high volume of strength training. I feel that situation situation can be resolved by scheduling less strength training. So we're gonna give, uh, yeah, we're gonna give Mitchell Beaster a couple days off. So I'm sure he'll be, uh, I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Bayern Pereira's bid has been rejected. Hey, hold on a second. Loic Perrin has agreed to join the club. He is looking forward to moving to Bayern 04 uh, due to their performance in the league. Head physio Sven Isinger has given Loic Perrin a clean bill of health. Perfect. Uh, can now be completed. Subject to conditions, however, the transfer may eventually increase to 4.3. Kevin Ballen has pledged his future to the club by signing a new five-year deal worth 30 million. 100% for, dude, 100%. I can't think of any more, I can't think of any more deserving players than Kevy Boland, who has absolutely turned our season around. Hold on, what did I just see? Seattle an offer for Robin? You know, that's something I could see happen, to be fair. Lucas Olario injured for two months? Rooney bid rejected? All right, let's make him an offer they can't refuse. Remember that scene in Django where he's like, I'm going to make you an offer so ridiculous you can't refuse it? So we're going to uh, bump that up to 2.5. 170K, salary 3.9 mil. Uh, can we even accept the man's? Uh, submit the offer for Wayne Rooney. Subject to conditions, the transfer may eventually increase up to 17.5. Rooney has been uh, attracting the interests of clubs such as Atlanta United in recent times. Dude, come to come here, dude. Perrin to be unveiled by, uh, by his way back. So we're going to decline to go to the press conference. I know it's a little bit controversial, but we got this friendly coming up. And wait, hold a second. Walk away. Um, subject, however, the transfer may eventually increase to 17.5. I don't think we can... So why would the analyst team tell me about Dusan Tadic, who I would, who's a dream player to have, but we've only got 8.6 mil. Why would they tell me about him? I feel the player's exposure to first team soccer has definitely been a factor. Um, awkward core social group fit. <laughs> wait, what? He's got an awkward core. How does how does how does football manager even know to how is that even a thing? Awkward core social group fit. That's amazing. Dude, that's hilarious, bro. Retzos, 10.0 in training. I want to let you know that you've been doing great. It's nice to hear you say that. I appreciate it. You got it, bro. Love you, man. Quanjin make Barmgart like what? Quanjin have made a non-negotiable offer worth an initial 8 million, subject and conditions. However, the transfer. Do we accept that? No, dude. Dude, we just got a China offer, bro. We just got a China offer. Hold on a second. Let's go ahead and accept that, dude, for eight mil? Come on. Hey, they're down at 12th. We're sitting all the way up there at fifth, dude. We're the favorites. All right, team selection. All right, here we go. Alario is injured. Uh, where's Baumgartlinger? He's got a, he's probably got a couple more games left. Uh, Kags, who can we bring on? 
uh, Polino, Tazos, Adonis, and then Core is already there. Hold on. Core is going to sit there in place of Alario. Bailey, Schnellarabi. I think we're just going to stick with this, to be honest. Retzos has absolutely stepped his game up. We're going to submit the team. <laughs> yes! Come on, boys! And then we're going to go down to positive. We're going to skip that replay. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to do a tighten up. We're going to do a tighten up shout. Don't do it to us. No, no. Nice save. Radicky. Yay, Radicky has been... Radicky, if not Kevy Volan, Radicky has been one of the players of our season. How do you miss that? How do you actually even miss that, dude? Can we get number two here? No. But something is going to happen. Suarez, let's go! Kareem Stellarabi. Guys, am, is this normal? How would you guys rate my football managerial... How would you guys rate my football managerial skills? I mean, Suarez. That is a transfer. That guy right there is a transfer that we brought in. And Kareem Stellarabi just bangs it in, dude. Somehow we've managed to dominate it. Now, obviously doing it a course, uh, across the course of multiple seasons, that is, uh, that's another thing entirely. But in terms of one se- mm, okay. And just as I say that. It's a pen. Really? Pradiki, can you save another one? Send it in! Schneller Robbie, what the hell was that? Just send it in. That was so, would have been so easy. Oh my god. We take a draw. Alright, at least it wasn't a loss, but that is absolute insanity. We're about to set a record, dude. Among the leading goal scorers in the Bundesliga, netting 20 ne uh, 29 times in 17 matches. Zwayback famously suffered the uh, ignominy of being knocked out of the German Cup by Hamburger in October, but the club's recent goal form has gone a long way to erasing those painful memories and gives the supporters plenty of hope for a bright, bright future. A win here could see Bayer go to the top of the table. Is that something that gives your team extra motivation? That would be nice, but we're all trying to focus on the bigger picture of building sustainable long-term success for this team. Yes, we are. Coming off of a draw, coming off of a disappointing draw, I'll also say that as well. But ever since we moved Arangis and Vendor up a little bit further up, we've had some pretty decent results. So we're going to go ahead. Everyone is fine from a match fitness perspective. We had a had a little bit of a break there, but we're going to keep the uh, we're going to keep the pedal to the metal. We're going to stay on attacking. It hasn't hurt us yet. Uh, Charles Arangis, we're going to lay off and we're going to go up 3-0. Kai Havertz, come on, dude. Nuremberg are sinking without a trace. They don't even have a shot on target yet, boys. 3-0, three points, and we get ourselves a wonderful, wonderful little victory. Hand over to assistant and the pep talk. And where do we stand on the table right now, boys? That is the real question. Um, we are currently... Number four, so that's the highest we've been. We still have a goal differential of seven, and we've got 33 points. So we are pushing for some very, very nice results. Look at that, boys. 3-0, we're actually crushing it right now. Uh, Baumgartlinger is close to signing for Quan Jin. Uh, has agreed to terms with Quan Jin, is excited to be joining them. He feels Quan Jin would benefit his family financially. I mean, there's not a question in, in the world that that's true. What can I do for you, boss? You've been fantastic servant to the club. You know what, now that he's leaving, um, you were part of a group of players who were becoming far too influential. I felt you were becoming, you know what? I'm going to take the high road. You're welcome back anytime, dude. There's no way I'd come back while you're still head coach. I guess I'll be leaving then. You little, you little idiot. Wolfsburg are currently ninth. We're currently fifth. Let's take a look at their team selection. They got Ginchik, Stefan, Sanchez, Arnold, Camacho, Brooks, and Gnocchi. Uh, Itra Castillos, and then Jung. So we're going to go ahead uh, we are going to make our team selection. We've had wins in three of five away games, dude. I, re I refuse to go down here. Oh my god. Referee's going over. Okay, come on. Hey, if they get one, we get one too, dude. Arangis. <sighs> Keeper chose the right side. Kai is going to see this one out, and Dragovic is going to come in in place of Retzos. So we're going to confirm there. We're going to do a get creative. We're still on attacking, boys. Come on. Inspired by the feedback. A little bit of late magic here, boys. 
Little bit of late magic. Yes! Come on! That's what I'm talking about. And we go. I think that's four out of six matches where we've not taken a loss. We've won four out of six away matches, dude. Come on! Fire 04 come from behind to win. That is the that shows some resolve, boys. That shows some incredible resolve. And we are going to end things there. Episodia number six. Now, episode number seven, we're not gonna show every match, but it will obviously be a condensed version. I'll show some of the big matches here towards the end of the season here, but you guys will find out. Can we finish top four? Can we finish top five? Can we stay atop the table and go through the likes of a Dortmund? Go through the likes of a uh, Leipzig again, and then also uh face off against some of the big boys, Bayern, most notably there in our next match. So hopefully. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed again if you guys want to play football manager alongside me the download link is in the description below if you guys are enjoying hit that like button if you guys are proud of how I'm doing in football manager smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time boys choose later a bit